Today's outfit of the day. Trying to stay comfy, warm. It's pretty uh, morbid out there, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get today's vlog started. What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So for today's video we're going to be heading up to LA. I'm really excited about it because once again Minimal's having me come up there to see what they've been up to, give some opinions and it's always it's always a good time up there man honestly I, I really appreciate their hospitality and they usually have food there so that's always a plus. And yeah, man, let's go ahead and head up to LA. I think that I'm gonna try and do some shopping up there while I'm there as well, but that's all contingent on time. I gotta get a haircut right now though. All right guys, so I just got done with my haircut. How's it look? I usually get a one up here and it fades into like a half on the sides. And I just feel like it just looks kind of clean. That's kind of like the look I kind of go for when I get my haircuts. People ask me all the time, Paul, like, why do you always get haircuts? I feel like you're always getting haircuts. And it's because um, my, my haircuts are only $9. And I just figure I can get a haircut every, like, I don't know, like, two weeks or whatever. And it's not too bad because if I'm getting a haircut every two weeks, that's 18 bucks, And that's still cheaper than one person's haircut who gets a haircut, like, once a month. So, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with how they do it there. They do, they, they do a decent job, especially for the price. So... It's always nice to like stay fresh so anyway so i'm gonna get some food right now i need to go through a drive through real quick and then i'm gonna head up to la um i just texted the dudes over at um, minimal and they have some new samples so we're gonna go ahead and check that stuff out right now and yeah let's go ahead and uh, drive to la what's up guys so i'd like to just formally take this time to apologize to you because this was a complete misdirect i ended up going up to la and not vlogging really at all uh just because I don't know, Minimal had some stuff to show me uh, that is very, very, very nice, but won't be out just yet. But I can say this, there's a lot of good stuff coming and just be excited, it's gonna be cool. Uh, that said, everybody's asking about the, about the Chelsea boots and those will be dropping mid-October. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that, the drop two tees, everybody's asking about those. Um, those will be dropping too. And then there will be a restock of uh, the track pants, but quality has been significantly changed. I actually sent somebody um, like to literally just watch production. So uh, the quality is gonna be really, really good. And the fit uh, was altered as well. So I think you guys are gonna like it. I've already tried them on and they fit amazingly. I've tried the samples on and yeah, I can vouch for them. They're awesome. Anyways, I decided to just go on like a quick little stop here to South Coast Plaza. That way this uh, this vlog isn't a complete bus. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. I honestly forget how nice it is to come to the mall like on a slow day, like when everybody's in school and whatnot, because usually South Coast is so packed, but it's like, it's like dead right now. And it's kind of refreshing. One thing I did want to say too is uh, I'm wearing like a white shirt under this. And when I went to get my hair cut, I took off my sweater because I don't want to get hair on my sweater. But I made like the futile mistake of wearing a white shirt. I just want to say this to you guys, for you, those of you who have black hair or dark hair in general, don't be like me. Don't uh, wear a white shirt and get a haircut because I got hair all over the place and it, it looked ridiculous. So I had to be relegated to wearing this sweatshirt all day, even though it warmed up a little bit. So don't be like me. So I briefly want to talk about why I'm here at the mall. It's kind of random on a random Thursday. Um, so if you guys have never like looked through my Instagram like in the past, I, I used to dress pretty different. I wasn't about like hype as much. I was about like streetwear chic type of stuff. And I felt like like a hankering to kind of get back into that and just, you know, diversify like my wardrobe and just kind of change up my closet. So I feel like I need some like just pretty simple denim. I know, I mean, I have a decent amount of denim uh, thanks to like, you know, different brands and stuff, but I feel like I want some like pretty distressed denim and I love top man's denim so I'm going to see what they have here at Nordstrom. Um, shout out to them real quick though. They actually have the Balenciaga speed trainers and they're sold out everywhere but they don't have my size in triple black ones. Like I was going to just try them on. I, I don't think I would have picked them up obviously because I mean I just got this pair that I'm wearing now but yeah let's see, let's see what we can find. Alright guys so they don't have the denim that I'm looking for but um, I found this really cool like kind of coat. I really mess with this kind of style. I saw one from Represent. I don't know if you guys saw that vlog, 
but it was priced at 275. I'm gonna try this one on, hopefully it fits well. And if it does, I'm gonna get it because it's 90 bucks. It's not too bad for like, you know, a nice uh, winter coat. So if it fits well, I'm gonna pick this one up. I think it would look great. And yeah, so yeah, as I was saying earlier, I'm kind of uh, reverting back to my former ways in terms of dressing, so. I think this is a nice jacket. So here is the coat on. I actually really like it, man. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cop this one. I'm gonna try one size down though as well, just to just to see and to make sure this is a size Jason. I want to go for. But this, this thing's sweet. Jason, here's a uh, with a collar down. I just realized that looked kind of silly, but arms are a little bit long, so I will try on the medium, but. I don't know, I'm not, not opposed to picking this one up. This one's really cool. I'm gonna try and find this one online for you and link it in the description. But yeah, this is this is a pretty sweet, like, overcoat thing. I don't have the size medium, but I think I'm gonna get it regardless. I think this is a pretty cool piece. So yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. 90 bucks isn't too bad, and if I change my mind, I mean, I can always bring it back, so. I do like that thing, though. I need to upgrade, too, because I'm so... So shoot him my um, T5i Rebel. Okay, like, that's, that's a great camera. It's good, I mean, I think you're right appreciate there, it. Nice Have a good one, man. man. Pleasure's mine. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Kind of Amiri-esque, but 80 bucks. I'm gonna try them on. They look like they're gonna be super skinny though, so we'll see. We're here in the Zara dressing room, and I found a couple pairs of denim that I kind of messed with. Got that like Amiri type of vibe. Got the studs underneath there. I don't know if I really, really like these that much. I do, I'm just gonna try them on and see what's going on with them. And then, so, I just like the wash of these. Like I said, if you guys have seen like my style before, it was like more like streetwear chic. It wasn't so much just like straight, like contemporary streetwear. And I feel like I wanna start going more towards, and I'm not saying I'm gonna go get away from streetwear altogether because obviously I'm wearing Supreme, like I fear God, stuff like that. But um, I do wanna like be able to like dress nice, like when I'm like going on dates and stuff like that. I, I still wanna have that aesthetic and stuff and I don't wanna let go of that. But anyways, I found this really cool, uh, a shoulder bag satchel type of thing. And I see myself wearing something like this when I'm like vlogging and stuff and just have the, have the stuff in here, like my lens and stuff, because I can't always be carrying a backpack, you know what I mean? Um, it's just like, it's like a little too much, so I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's not too expensive, I think it's like 50 bucks. Just something quick and easy, just throw on. Like, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if it looks too big. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna, I have to like, uh, this is my first time even trying it on, so I'm gonna, I wanna you know, kind of see definitively. But I mean, yeah, the quality's there for 50 bucks. Not too bad, so let's see what's up. Just showed the pants. Copper drop, guys. Oh, Con says pass. Pass. They look tight. Dope. All right, I, I, I just want to toss this out there. I am like diversifying my class, so this would be different than what we're used to. Oh, wow, we got a lot of uh, stick to minimal pass. Oh, we got a lot of passes, huh? Easy pass. Wow, I'm so surprised you guys don't mess with these. Let's get some more of you guys in the vlog. Yeah, I'm kind of going more towards uh, streetwear chic, guys. I don't know about high fashion as much as like, just want to like, have like a more like mature take on, uh, on streetwear. I want to be able to do both though. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Well, just want to say thank you to everybody that was in the live stream. I'm not gonna get the pants just because they're a little bit too short and like, I don't like them to be like super crop like that. It's weird, I'm a short person so can't imagine how like a tall person would wear. Maybe they're, maybe they're not supposed to be like pants. Anyways, um, I am gonna get this bag and I think we're gonna get out of here. So let's uh, head out, let's pay for this head out and then go next door. What's up guys, I'm in the fitting room of J Crew. I just wanted to like just talk real quick about the broken in tees. I actually heard about them from Kai Bentley. Shout out to him, dude. Awesome dude. Anyways, um, I got put on to, to these shirts by him and I just noticed how well they fit and the quality and stuff. So I decided to pick a couple up. 
And I already know my size, but I decided to come in here to the fitting room so I can show you guys how they look on body. Um, as you guys know, I'm like a little bit more broad. I'm approximately 5'8", and I weigh, I wanna say right now around 165, 170. I'm not gonna lie, like, I put on some muscle, but kinda of put on a little like, chub chubs. That's why you guys notice me running and stuff. Anyways, so, um, so here are the shirts. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on for you guys. I already know how they fit. Uh, but I am going to put them on for you so you guys can see the difference. I usually go between a uh, large or an extra large because um, for the oversized fits, like if I want it to be oversized, I go for extra large. But today I just need a couple that fit really nicely and I will go for a large today. But I'll just show you guys just in case so you guys can see. So this one here is a large and as I said earlier, like my measurements, I'm a bit more stocky for um, my height. So I just wanted you to take that into account. As you can see, it's just a nice fitting shirt. It's really soft, like insanely soft. They're pre-washed, so um, maybe first wash, you might lose maybe a quarter inch at most, but uh, this is essentially how it's gonna fit throughout the duration of its lifetime. Uh, the reason why I'm picking these up is because like I said before, I do want to like start to work into the vlogs more, like my, like the well-roundedness of how I, I dress because like, I feel like for the vlog, I try to stick to like, you know, what you guys like to see, but I, I would like to kind of open up and broaden uh, my horizons in terms of what you guys see in the channel about me. Now I'm not gonna, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna like just, you know, sway away from like what I usually wear because that's, I actually like that stuff. But sometimes I do like to like dress up a little bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to like show more fitted things as well. Which, is, uh, which constitutes today's vlog. This is an extra large. I'm sure you guys are gonna say in the comment section that you like the way this one fits more. And I do as well, I actually do. Like if I'm wearing the shirt by itself, but say I'm like, I'm wearing a leather jacket or whatever, um, it might be a little bit too, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, it might be a little bit too baggy uh, to wear like underneath like a, like a leather jacket or like a fitted slim jacket. So uh, that's pretty much, <coughs> Excuse me, how it looks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna buy this now too because I sneezed on it. All right guys, so I think I'm done for the day. I got a few things. I didn't go too wild. I think I spent like a grand total, like just a little under $200. The, I forgot to tell you that the broken in shirts are $20, maybe the 25 after tax. And yeah, so pretty much I got both for 50. Uh, they're usually, like usually have like sales and stuff. So just keep a lookout for that, look online and whatnot.